Hey guys, this is Dennis for Cinemaniacs, uh, and today I will be talking about the uh, order that I just got from Europe. Uh, this is the Thor Love and Thunder uh, 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray Steelbook Edition. So, bear with me, I know this is not a great movie, it's uh, way too ridiculous, uh, jokes are not landing well, and I would say that this is on par with like the third worst bunch of uh, movies of from the DMCU. Okay, so I get that. Still, it's entertaining. It's colorful. Uh, there's some cool action scene, and I kind of uh, cannot stop buying those movies since I've got all of the other the other MCU titles in 4K. So <laughs> I'm stuck buying all of them one after the other. Even though the movie is good, great, or terribly bad, okay? So, what you'll find in this edition, uh, well, the story first is that in Marvel Studios' Thor Love and Thunder, the God of Thunder, played by Chris Answort, teams up with King Valkyrie, Korg, and ex-girlfriend turned Mighty Thor, Jane Foster, played by Natalie Portman, to take on a galactic killer known as Gore, the God Butcher, played by Christian Bell, who doesn't kill much gods on screen. <laughs> That's one of the worst parts of the movie. Okay, so what you'll find in, uh, in, um, in uh, this uh, uh, Steelbook edition, uh, on the Blu-ray, uh, the, the bonus extras, uh, you have uh, the first one is a Hammer Worthy, Thor and the Mighty Thor, where you'll find Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman describe how they became the unstoppable Thor and Mighty Thor. The second one is Shaping a Villain. Discover Christian Bell's process of bringing Gore the God Butcher to life, which, on my part, I think was, like, lazy. But that's me, okay? Uh, he's the uh, Oscar-worthy actor, and I'm, like, the guy who records audio and videos in his pajamas in his uh, living room. So <laughs> I can understand the difference of... Uh, uh, credibility between me and him, okay? Uh, so I get that, but that's my, my point, okay? Uh, the third one is uh, another classic Taika adventure wh where it says, uh, follow Taika Waititi's uh, unique filmmaking journey once he took over the Thor franchise. And I'm pretty much sure that this is going to be this second but last attempt to uh, uh, direct a Marvel movie. Fourth one is uh, uh, you've, you'll I have uh, the audio commentary with um, uh, the film uh, director Taika Waititi and two special guests. You've got gag reel uh, where it says catch some fun outtakes with the cast and crew. And you've got some deleted scenes. Okay. This is for the Blu-ray. Uh, you've got the movie and the extra bonuses. Uh, then on the 4K Ultra HD You've got the movie with Ultra Play, uh, jump instantly to the movie. Uh, you've got everything is, in, of course, in 4K resolution, high dynamic range, wider color spectrum, and immersive audio in Dolby Atmos. So, uh, in all the specific details, you will find that uh, the um, Ultra HD is in 2160p. Uh, ultra high definition widescreen. Uh, you've got the English Dolby Atmos and 2.0 descriptive audio. You've got French 5.1 Dolby Digital, Spanish 7.1 Dolby Digital Plus uh, language tracks, and on and on and on, like all the regular editions. And on the Blu ray, it's, on, uh, it's a 1080p high definition widescreen edition. You've got English 7.1, um, DTS, HDMA, and a 2.0 descriptive audio. You've got French and Spanish 5.1 digital, uh, Dolby Digital language tracks and subtitles uh, for all of it. So this is basically a not great release for that movie. I thought that uh, the Steelbook looked great enough to spend the extra uh, money to get it. Uh, it actually cost me like around 50 Canadian dollars to get it. Uh, I think it looks good. You can see it on the, on the video. And But beside that, there's not that many special features included. The visual quality is great. It's a 4K movie. Uh, the story is okay. Uh, the visual effects are okay. The, and I would say it's a good once... A, once in a while, you'll open the, the box set, you'll look at it, but you won't watch the whole movie from the beginning to the end. You'll only get the like the major, the, the, the best part of it, and that will be it. So 
that's it for me. We'll try to make more and more uh, videos, both French and English. Any uh, publications are made on each of the channels, one in French and one in English. So you, you've got the La Chaine uh, Cinemaniacs, and now we have the Cinemaniacs channel for only the English publication. All right, so have a good one. Uh, enjoy the, um, the rest of the week, enjoy movies, and I'll see you soon. All right, have a good one. Take care.